All right, what is going on YouTube? This is your boy PXG Cash Howard coming at you with week two of the Pokemon Forever Association League battles. Um, we're currently at a um, 01 scenario as we lost last week to the Los Angeles Lucarios, coached by uh, Vinny, aka Team Chat Red. This week we're fighting the Rhode Island Rhyperius, coached by Unit 501. Now, when I saw the matchup screen, I was highly, highly afraid of his Mega Diancy. And one of his other pokes, which name now leaves my head. So I was heavily uh, building my team kind of like to counteract Mega Dancy should that situation arrive. And Lord and behold, Mega Dancy did not show up. <laughs> um, last week, uh, in terms of uh, they didn't, which they didn't bring their Mega either, but in that scenario, their Mega wouldn't have been as useful. Uh, in Mega Pinsir, as most of my Pokemon could acquire walled it. Whereas in this one, I could have seen it as useful, but you never know. Unit has a plan. Um, I brought the same squad from last week, barring the substitution of Nido King for Tauros. And we also nicknamed Tauros after my boy M Mill. Um, now, on Unit's side, he brings Archaeops, Cacturn, Meloetta, Bisharp. Rotom Wash and Fortress. Now, anyone who plays competitively probably knows what Fortress, Rotom Wash, and Bishop can do. Uh, Fortress, obviously, there's a spin. Rotom Wash to be a pain in my in my side, and Bisharp to potentially make me start playing the 50/50 game of whether he's going to attack or not, or better yet, what kind of attack he's going to use first. Because if I guess incorrectly, he's going to sucker punch me in the face. If I guess correctly. I could probably attack before he attacks me. Meloetta, I know, is a very good, especially attacking and defensive poke, but I've never seen one use much. I've never seen Cacturn or Archaeops, which is always kind of like that fear because you don't know what they're capable of. And like I said, when you build your team, you probably have a strategy, so Unit probably has a strategy with all these pokes. So without further ado, let us go into week two of the Pokemon Forever Association. The Puerto Rican Panchams versus the Los Angeles Lucarios. Alright, so I lead in with my boy Mill. And he leads in with his fortress. Now, I cannot physically do much to this fortress, so I'm going to quickly recall him to the one thing that I know would scare him. Which is Heat Ran, and I know full well he'll probably gonna go for a turn into Stealth Rocks, and there it is. So now, same scenario. He's afraid he's gonna recall. So at this point, I'm kind of hoping for anything that's not Rotom, and I get Rotom. <laughs> so I go for the Stealth Rocks because I might as well take a page from his book, throw rocks, and quickly leave. So I recall, and I go into I believe Hit him on top. Look at him dancing down there. And look at him dancing up there. Huh? Kinda in sync. Look at that. Yeah! I go. Intimidate drop, but Rotom Wash is a special attacker, so the Intimidate drop doesn't really do much. He goes for the Volt Switch. Maybe probably going back into Fortress. And there it is. Though Meloetta could have probably been taking a hit, should he be afraid of a physical hit from him on top? So I go for the Rapid Spin, because I don't want rocks on my side of the field. And he takes a page from my book and spins as well, getting rid of rocks on his side of the field. So now I go for the Close Combat, just to see how much this would actually do to him. Bring him just about. 60-70% of his health, I do drop my defenses by doing so. And he goes for the Gyro Ball, which will probably gonna hurt a little bit more because of my drop in defenses. He recovers his health. I recall him on top. And go into Heat Ran to see if I can scare him again. He ironically goes for Volt Switch. So probably whatever Pokey decides to um, bring it out now is something that will probably beat out Heat Ran. He goes into the Archaeops. <laughs> like I said, I have no idea what this Pokemon can do. I don't know what his purpose in life is. 
He goes for the Earthquake. <laughs> now at this point I was probably thinking I could live this, but with the crit, I go down fairly quickly. <laughs> and we're starting off at 5-6. So I bring in Gardevoir. And I trace Defeatus, and then I remembered. Defeatus is not good. He recalls his Archaeops, goes into Bisharp. Probably to the best thing I probably could have walked into. I Mega Evolve because I have to get rid of Defeatus, and because I have to anyway. And at this point, I'm hoping that he's not Focus Sashed. And I Hyper Voice the Bisharp face off. And Bisharp, the big threat, goes down. He goes into Fortress. Probably to counteract the Hyper Voice and Psychic, but I am bringing Hidden Power Fire with me. And uh, Fortress goes down also. Now, as I said before, I'm afraid of this thing. Because <laughs> I don't know what it has, what it can do, etc, etc. So I go into Gyarados. He goes for Acrobatics. That did a lot. He goes for it again, outspeeding Gyarados. And Gyarados quickly goes down. This fossil bird is really scaring me. So I go into Kyurem, because I know I can hit it with a move to kill it. And he quickly withdraws Archaeops. <laughs> Makes me wonder if I can actually outspeed it, and he's afraid of that. He goes into Rotom, and I Ice Beam. Obviously not doing much, because Rotom resists the Ice uh, move. I go for the ice beam again, hoping that he was gonna swap out. He goes for the Will O Wisp, and I avoid. One more time, I go for the ice beam. Bring him down to around half health, and he decides to Volt Switch out. Into Meloetta. So I go for the Ice Beam again. And Meloetta, as I figured, could take it. Nah, I didn't. I probably forgot or did not know this thing can earn Dazzling Gleam. Almost taking down uh, Black Kyurem in one hit. And I noticed that she's Life Orb, so I recall out Black Kyurem. Bring out Gardevoir. Show the diva which who's the better diva here. Look at my beautiful dress. I got it from Vera Wang. In case you guys didn't know this. Once again, she's losing more HP. He recalls Meloetta. And goes into Rotom Wash. Now I will a wisp. I was kind of predicting Archaeops to show up. But burning this thing probably helps me out in the long run because now damage that he's getting through leftovers is now going to get removed because of the burn. And I go for the Hyper Voice, he decides to leave Rotom Wash in. And Rotom Wash goes down. Now we're sitting at a nice 4-3 four, uh, four, at the moment. And here comes this thing again. As I said, I have no idea what this thing is capable of. So I bring in Hitmontop. Because at the very least, I can at least lower his attack down, because this thing has been going through things very easily. And he kills Hitmontop. His sacrifice not going in vain. I bring in Black Hurum. Hoping this thing actually stays in. And I go for the Fusion Bolt, and I get it. And the Fusion Bolt lands. It's both super effective. And I finally get this bird out of my face. Next he goes into Cacturn, so because of the grass typing I do want to avoid that. I go into my boy Mill. He goes for the Sucker Punch, which luckily I didn't attack, it would have probably killed Black Hurum. Mill goes for the Seeker Power, showing what he's capable of, and Cacturn goes down. Go into, goes into Meloetta, <laughs> but my boy Mill bringing in that strength. And Meloetta goes down. 
And as the announcer always goes... And there goes the battle! So we win this one week. Um, 3-0. Over a unit and the Rhode Island Rapiers. Um, as I said before, that bird was scaring me. Um, I never did figure out if he was holding a, an item. Like, thinking back now, considering he kept going for, uh, acrobatics, it might have not even had an item to begin with. Because Archaeops apparently has good attack and speed, so long as the fetus doesn't activate. Once, uh, he goes below 50% health. So he could have not had an item this whole time, and I could have just attacked him from the on-go and not be afraid of it. But because I really wanted to know what it was what it was carrying, it did cost me... Um, he ran who I wasn't expecting to die in one hit. And... Uh, Gyarados. Hitmontop I did have to sack, unfortunately, my little dancing uh, friend. But at least the Intimidate, just to get the Intimidate drop in the event, I did, it did outspeed something. So I can at least um, take it down. But that's all there is for this week. Next week, <laughs> I fight my good friend Mudkip Legend, the coach of the Indianapolis Jolts. And boy, does he have a squad. So until then, this is your boy, PXG Cash Hour, signing off. And I will see you next time for week three of the Pokemon Forever Association League Battle. <laughs>